So I came to this realization the other day, and maybe it should have came to me sooner, but there's no real perfect build. There's no build that can do everything fantastic. You have to have some sacrifices. For example, when the prelude was out, everybody was gassed on the pure lockdown. Bro, I, man, you see the badges? They gave it silver corner specialist. The attributes looked fine offensively on top of like the pokes defensively. Everybody thought they were gonna make a pure lockdown. I, I literally have seen like two of them so far playing NBA 2K19. So more than anything, I know Notice people aren't really making what they think is gonna be the best build, but more so what build they think they're gonna enjoy playing with the most. Oh, so that's what inspired me to make this character. So let's get straight to it, man. I told you guys I was gonna create myself a pro-am build. All my builds so far have been point guards or shooting guards. This is my first small forward build. So the build itself is shot creator primary and driving and finishing secondary. Now, if you're anything like me, I was very skeptical at first. So let me walk you through the process of why I began believing in this build. It doesn't have sharp shooting in it. It's probably a bad three point shooting build, but what? It can fade and drive to the lane. I don't want that build. Let's take a look at the badges real quick, okay? I mean, I think this would be insanely overpowered if it did have Hall of Fame difficult shots. It does not, it has it on gold. So the Hall of Fame badges and the gold badges, okay, we expected that from this build. But as we scroll down, you will be more and more surprised. Like, what is that badge doing on this player? So let's start. Silver Corner Specialist. Silver catch and shoot. Posterizer we expect, okay. Silver ankle breaker. Deep range dead eye. This does not have sharp shooting in it. It does not have playmaking in it, but here it is collecting all of the playmaking and sharp shooting badges. Bronze limitless range. Not only does it have defensive stopper, it has defensive badges like pickpocket. I was playing with iPod and iPod had this exact same build and he was like, oh yes, just unlock defensive stopper. Wait, what? Oh yes, I just got silver limitless range on my slashing shot creator. As I continued playing with him, he just kept like naming all these badges he was getting. And I was like, pause. My guy, why do you have playmaking badges, slasher badges, shot creator badges, defensive badges, sharpshooter badges? What is up with this build? The footage you're watching is uh, me and iPod. So we both have the same build. His is badged out, mine is very new, so it's not. You see this build? I, I never would have thought, but let's keep going. So this is the part in the creation process where you have to make a decision, and my decision was to go minimum wingspan, minimum weight. I would prefer that he has a speed with ball and an open shot three that can make him useful to blow by other guards. So these are the attribute caps. This is not what you start off with when you match your player to an 85, but as you grind your player, this is what you can end up with. So you're gonna see real quick, if you look at the driving dunk, I have an 84. You need an 85 to get a couple of the contact dunk, dunk packages. So when I minimized my wingspan, I made a decision that I prefer better better three point shooting and ball handling than the ability to get contact dunks. Honestly, I don't like going for contact dunks anyway because it's random. Sometimes you're just gonna go up for a bad dunk attempt or a layup attempt. I'd rather not take those chances. Oh, wait up. Get off of me, man! <laughs> ball control is an 81. Speed with ball is a 77. Of course you're a shot creator, so all of the all of the fading, you can fade for days, ladies and gentlemen. And because you're 6'7", you're taller than most of the shot makers, you can go up for some pretty contested fades that hit. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm tired of these shot creators shooting in my eye, bro. I said, if, if you're gonna do it, I'm gonna do it too. So now I have a counter. I have my own shot creator build. On a build with 71 steel, 80 lateral quickness, 80 speed, 85 acceleration, then you start to counter in. Do you remember those defensive badges that my player has? I, I don't know why it has all of these things, but it does. And because it does, it makes a lot of sense to play with. So this player to me is everything my slasher was last year, except it's just a different build. <sighs> okay, let's get into my court. Yo, someone tell me why my player looks like a real waste man. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. Listen, man, uh, you are no, fur no, coat no, volume. No, so I made one mistake with this player. I wouldn't actually categorize it as a mistake. Uh, actually, I would. I don't know why I made him right-handed. I have no idea why. Ever since like 2K17, all my players have been left-handed. The only player that was not left-handed was my uh, slasher last year I used on Pro-Am. And even then, I regretted not making him left-handed. It definitely takes some time to adjust once you're used to like dribbling with the left hand, fading with the left hand, shooting with the left hand, to go to right. I don't know what I was thinking, man. So if you guys watched my jump shot video I made just a couple days ago, if you missed it, I'll leave a link above. It is the best jump shot in 2K19. I, uh, I'm using that jump shot for this player as well. Yo, if you guys are new to the channel, I did not mention this to start the video, so I'm gonna do it right now. Be sure to subscribe, all right? 
Okay, okay. Daily videos? All right, bet, 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 bet. It has a tier two dribble move, so it's not like all my dribble moves are really ass. My player does feel sluggish though. Anytime I don't have the ability to speed boost, my player just feels slow. But I guess that goes for any player that's not in tier three. The fact that you get bronze limitless on this player that doesn't even have sharpshooting in the build is insane. I literally cannot live without limitless range. Cause there's too many times where I'm just used to by habit shooting from over here, even with my play shooter and I do it actively. Just to have a bronze, let alone anything at all makes a big difference. You know what I, oh I forgot, you can't even check your animations in the my core. I forgot about that fantastic new feature this year. Why can't I sprint in my my core, G? All right, so these are the animations I got. I'm trying out a new jump shot. I'm always trying out a new jump shot, see if I can find something different. These are all my post fades. Honestly, I kind of just watched the YouTube video to get all my dribble moves. You guys know I'm not the guy to go for dribble moves. For the layups, oddly enough, I went with Stephen Curry. I don't know if that's a horrible decision. I'm just trying different things out. I have all the athletic moves. Even though you might think bringing the ball back like this before you dunk is a bad idea, in last 2K and 2K18, those dunks were the least blockable types of dunks. And so you were better off going with the Vince Carter windmills and shit because it got blocked less. Luckily, I do get some very fun park dunk animations, even though I don't get all the contact dunk packages just yet. And that's really all there is to the player, guys. It's my slasher from last year that I saw iPod playing with, and I was like, I gotta create that. But no one's using it, so that's what I'm gonna try and do. Uh, okay, I need to stop creating builds and start grinding the builds. That's my plan. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop the like, subscribe to the channel. Hit my Facebook link in the description. I'm streaming 2K19 on there every single day, and I'm gonna catch you guys later. Oh, click on one of these two videos. I'm out. Peace.